What's going on guys? This is The Centrepreneur here today with a new video. Today I wanted to bring to you my top five soapy fragrances. These are the best soapy fragrances of all time I've ever smelled. Uh, how I judge these quickly is um, overall scent, compliments, guys and girls, compliments, guys and girls, uh, the overall quality of the scent, and the overall value of what you're getting for what you're paying. So guys, without further ado, I would like to jump in here at my number five. Number five is the only one that I don't currently own some kind of container of, and it is also the most expensive on this list, so there's a reason I don't have a container of it yet. And it is Original Vetiver from Creed. Now, Original Vetiver from Creed, it gets compared to uh, Mugle, Mugle Cologne. Uh, for good reason, they smell very similar. I would say that Original Vetiver is about 10% better than Mugler Cologne. It's a little more woodsy, and you've got a little more ginger in there, and it makes it more sophisticated, and overall, it smells better to me. It's a better fragrance. Uh, I get a bit better performance, but it's way, 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 way more expensive, and for that reason, I couldn't put it anywhere but number five. Uh, well, Mugu Clone is much higher up this list, as you'll see shortly. Anyway, guys, that was number five, Creed Original Vetiver. At number four, we've got a great one from a designer brand that really does soapy fragrances amazingly. It is from Prada, and it's Amber Pour Homme. So, Prada Amber Pour Homme smells like, smells like very much like a luxury soap. Um, if you've seen my review on this, uh, you'll know that I think it smells kind of like the color purple. Sometimes I like to relate scents to colors. It very much smells purple, whereas some of these will smell more more like your regular Irish Spring green soap or a fabric softener, wink wink. <laughs> um, this smells very much purple, very, much, very luxurious, uh, quite sexy, and it's a lot more potent than you'd think. Uh, that's actually what keeps it further down this list is uh, the performance is just so outrageous for a soapy fragrance. It's definitely got the, the best projection on this list and for that reason it kind of holds it back a little bit in my opinion because I don't really want my super soapy fragrance to project like crazy. That's kind of defeats the purpose of just wearing a clean skin scent friendly type thing and anyway Prada Amber Pour Homme it smells amazing but it is very very potent as far as soapy scents goes next up guys is the only other niche on this list uh, it's from an indie house it is from Gallagher fragrances I've only got a sample of it for now uh, it's called Eloran now this is in my opinion the soapiest from Gallagher I would also say that Bergamust is quite soapy but as far as Eloran goes it's Neroli backwards <laughs> who knew uh, what you're gonna get is like a very very soapy blend of neroli uh, fruits uh, if I'm not mistaken it's bergamot and black currant and a rose very soapy uh, definitely Gallagher soapiest and while amber pour Homme was the uh, the biggest projector on this list this is the longest lasting I get all day longevity out of the Lauren and uh, the quality is just there so although it is expensive Lauren at number three amazing juice so guys we're into the top two these are definitely 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 the highest complimented uh, sexiest best bang for your buck soapy fragrances ever I in my opinion it's not debatable uh, personal preferences of course but as far as bang for buck value goes these are there as far as performance goes they're there as far as sexiness, one is much more there than the other, but anyway, without further ado, guys, at number two, the one I mentioned earlier from Mugler, it is Mugler Cologne. This is just nice soap. You know, I did a review of this uh, a few months ago, and I think the thumbnail was me holding this and a bottle of soap. That was just spur of the moment, because I was, you know, I washed my hands one day and was like, Okay, I'm, I'm putting Mugler Cologne on my hands. This is just soap, guys. That's all it smells like. It smells like a very clean, green, uh, Irish Spring-ish soap. And yeah, it's, in my opinion, it's almost impossible to offend somebody with this. Um, the only thing that really keeps this from number one is uh, number one has the edge in quality. It's got the edge in compliments. Um, solid performance from Mugler, amazing price. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's the most affordable on this list, and it's probably the best bang for your buck, honestly. But 
number two only for Mugler Cologne. Well guys, uh, you haven't seen it already, so you probably know what's going to be number one. You may have seen my first impressions of this a few weeks ago. Um, I, I just think this stuff is amazing. It has catapulted its way into my top five designers of all time. It's from Prada. Again, they kill it with the soapy stuff. This is Prada Loam. I just have this decant, as you can see, uh, by the juice level there. I've just been running through this stuff. Uh, it's it's just so unbelievably good. Um, you know I never thought I'd call a soapy fragrance a 10 out of 10. I'm still not entirely sold on this being a 10, but the very possibility that it could be a 10 is just amazing. It is the cleanest, best, most sexy fabric softener ever. Um, I've tried it, I've had some of my friends try it. Amazing, amazing, amazing. This one is not like as heavy of a compliment getter as say one of your generic designer fragrances. Um, I've got more complimented fragrances for sure uh, per wear than this one. But as far as soapy fragrances goes, this is the king. If you want compliments from your soapy scent, this is it. If you want to smell uh, clean, completely inoffensive, yet at the same time, probably the sexiest fragrance on this list, go with Prada Loam, man. This is definitely a bottle. I've decided that this is my next designer bottle. I'm hoping to find out a good price, but man, might be impossible for now. This is this is just so good. I, I hate to say this, but I personally think every guy should have Prada Loam in their collection. It's, wow, it's just that good, man. I could, I couldn't put this anywhere but number one. It's amazing. Prada Loam, number one for my top five soapy fragrances guys all right guys that's been my top five soapy fragrances list uh if you've got any others that uh, that you think should have been here maybe you think hummingbird should have made this list uh, it's just too feminine for me and expensive but anyway uh if there are any that i missed out on please leave uh leave a comment down below uh, also let me know which are your favorites of these uh, what are, what are just your favorite clean, inoffensive things that you could wear? I'm sure there are others that you could put on this list. And uh, don't forget to let me know how you think uh, my list was. Would you reorder them? Eh. Uh, that's just, as far as what I ranked them on, this is as good as it gets, man. So guys, this has been The Centrepreneur. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel down below. That would be amazing. There's new content coming out all the time. Fragrance topless like this, reviews, first impressions, the occasional unboxing, the works. Also guys, if you really enjoyed this particular video, please toss me a big thumbs up, that'd be amazing. And don't forget to check me out on Snapchat, there is fragrance content, there is me content, there's new stuff every day, I, I try to keep up with that pretty, uh, pretty well. Uh, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you're having an awesome day. I hope you're enjoying your soapy fragrances, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day, boys.